Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you guys, it's a little bit disheartening when in our society, it's 2020 right now, we have a lot of ways that are built in to protect women. And I think that women do need some protection because I think that we need to kind of celebrate our differences. Men are set up a little bit different than women. So yes, I do think that women need some concessions. Like we need to be able to concede to women and a lot of different things, right? That doesn't make them any less than us. I just think that we need to celebrate our differences. But here's what we cannot allow. What we can't allow is for a group of people to have so many options and it does not apply to everybody. And I know that my awesome ladies, my awesome women out there, I know we got a lot of ladies out there that are just awesome people. The awesome women out there that are good mothers and good parents and good role models and good law-abiding citizens understand accountability and understand the difference between right and wrong and understand that when you have a multitude of options for when you bring children into this world, like when it comes to conception, when it comes to giving birth, when it comes to who you have sex with and all of that good stuff, you have a ton of options before you meet a man, when you meet a man, when you decide to lay down with a man, what you do after you've laid down with a man, what do you do after you've gotten pregnant? You've got a ton of options, right? And that's just a fact. You have a ton of options. And for the life of me, I can't understand why anybody would still think that it's okay to put a baby in danger, let alone murder a baby and just throw a baby away just like it's yesterday's trash. And I just don't understand that. There's no excuse for it. And as a society, we have to start standing up against people who do stuff like that, okay? The individual that you see on my screen is, from what I've heard, was a YouTuber. And I don't know how valid that is. I don't know if her channel is still up. If you can find her videos, maybe some of y'all know how many subscribers she had. But from what I heard, this was supposed to be a very popular YouTuber who did, I guess, makeup tutorials. Or maybe somebody who wants to participate in the Barnum and Bailey circus. I don't freaking know. What kind of a makeup job? Man, look at this. Let me show y'all some more pictures of this so-called makeup artist. Let me show y'all some. Let me show you that. Let me show y'all some pictures. I want y'all to tell. Now, that's actually kind of cool. I'll, I'll give her that. That's kind of cool right there. I'm, ain't no hating over here. But I want y'all to look at that. What human being is going to walk out of the house looking like that? Or is this just something she does for fun? Hell, I don't know. Maybe it's like some Halloween makeup or something. I don't know. I am confused. But this whole damn story is confusing. That individual that you see right there who looked like one of Santa's helpers on Christmas Day, her name is Alyssa Ann Davault who was supposed to be YouTube famous and is charged with homicide by child abuse and destruction and desecration or removal of human remains. A South Carolina based makeup artist is facing life in prison after she allegedly, after she allegedly covered up not one, but two pregnancies over the course of 13 months and disposed of the babies in dumpsters where, they're di where they died shortly after they were born. Not one, but two. Alyssa Ann Davault is 30 years old. There better not be a single person that tells me well, she was young. She was young. There better not be a single person that comes and tries to defend this woman's actions. Or I'm going to think some of y'all are crazy. 30 years old. Old enough to know better. Plenty of old enough. She grown. Way past grown. But she's been charged 
with two counts of homicide by child abuse and two counts of destruction and desecration or removal. Desecration and removal of human remains for the horrific crimes she allegedly committed earlier this uh, earlier this month and in November of 2017. And 2017. How did nobody find out about this? How did nobody not know that she was pregnant? Did nobody not see her? Did she not go any... Man. Let me tell the story. The North Myrtle Beach Police Department says in warrants that Day Vault was admitted to the Grand Strand Regional Hospital December the 5th for a heavy vaginal bleeding. While under care at the hospital, Day Vault delivered a placenta and umbilical cord consistent with full-term pregnancy, but no child was delivered according to the police warrant. She later admitted during questioning with the police that she gave birth to a baby boy at her North Myrtle Beach home. The defendant stated that the child was born alive and took multiple gasping breaths after being born. That's, that's heartbreaking, man. The defendant further stated that she failed to secure medical treatment and did not personally take action to attempt to preserve or save the infant's life. The defendant then disposed of the child's body in a waste receptacle or trash can at her residence in NMB without seeking help or notifying authorities. Davalt, who was employed as a personal makeup artist and hairstylist at Exalt Salon in Little River is also accused, is also accused, let me say that again, is also accused of disposing a second infant in a dumpster shortly after a home birth of November 4th of 2017. The defendant then disposed of the child's body in a public waste receptacle, aka trash can, at her apartment in NMB without seeking help or notifying authorities. During the course of the investigation, police obtained medical records, which indicated that on 11 4 of 2017, the defendant was in her third trimester of a pregnancy and that the fetus had a healthy heart tone. So where is the biological fathers in this? Not once, but twice. And if they say that they knew that this baby had a heartbeat, then that means that this, that she had went to a doctor at some point. And just nobody's going to realize in nine months that there ain't no baby. And then you get a second chance to do it again. Whew. Boy, that makeup must be messing that woman's brain cells up. She is currently being held without bond. Good for that. At the J. Rubin Long Detention Center. While it's unclear whether Dave Vault is married she has frequently posted photos of her two young daughters on social media. Okay, now I'm even more confused. She frequently posted photos of her two young daughters on social media. So she had additional kids? Two young daughters plus these two four man who's gonna make an excuse for this 
Who's going to make an excuse in this story? I just want to know. I can't wait to read the comments after this is all said and done of who's going to make an excuse for her. Four kids? Are you kidding me? Two young daughters plus one baby that was thrown in the trash can in 2017 and then another that she gave birth to and threw that one in the trash can. Four pregnancies, four kids. Who is sleeping with this nasty broad? Gross. Aside from sharing moments with her family, and matter of fact, can I get on the family just for a moment before I show y'all the videos? And pardon my language, but her family ain't shit. If she's got sisters or brothers or mother and father or cousins, aunties, uncles, best friends, anybody, anybody who knew her ain't shit. Neighbors, man, and y'all didn't see nothing, didn't say anything. That is just horrible. But let me give you guys the fair usage. I'm going to show you all the news videos. Let's get it. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. Yeah, I agree, man. That's just disgusting. I'm going to show y'all a couple of news videos that we had. We didn't have a lot, but I will show y'all what we got here. So y'all bear with me just a moment. Let me get these pulled up. If you guys are watching our stream currently, if you would, please click the thumbs up. If you do, that'll help share our stream and let other people know that we're talking about this story that I think needs some more attention. Okay, let's get it. This week, the other a little more than a year ago. Taggart Houck with our sister station in Myrtle Beach has more. 30-year-old Alyssa Davalt is accused of killing two of her newborn babies, one this week, the other a little more than a year ago. According to arrest warrants, Davalt went to the hospital just over a week ago for bleeding. Doctors found a placenta and umbilical cord, but no baby. A police report states she denied to hospital staff that she was pregnant, but later confessed to police that she's had the baby at home. It was breathing, and she disposed of it. Nothing good about anything that like that happening anywhere close to home. Eric Heron lived near Dave Alt last November when an arrest report says she did the same thing in this apartment building. I feel like it's a very family oriented community and to hear something like that happening in my neighborhood, in our neighborhood, um, is really sad. And nobody said anything. Nobody said a word. Nobody questioned seeing this woman pregnant and then seeing no newborn babies. Over the course of three years? Huh, it's a little bit strange. A police report says they learned of the 2017 baby when they secured her medical records. They say those records show she had an ER visit in her third trimester in 2017, and that she admitted she gave birth to a live baby girl and disposed of the child. As far as the hospital, I don't really know how that works, but if she went to go get a checkup at this hospital, I don't know if she had uh, any type of prenatal care or, or a, uh, I don't know what you call those type of doctors, but how was it that they didn't make any attempts to follow up or notify or something? Because if they knew that she was in her third trimester, then you know that she's close to giving birth. Why didn't anybody ask about that? I don't know, man. Weird. Davold's Facebook page shows a smiling mom with two children. Police say they're six and eight years old. We reached out to her family and her boyfriend, but have not heard back. Her boyfriend, Chris, did post this message on his Facebook page saying, quote, I beg for your prayers, prayers for my son and daughter who were not given the chance to live on this planet who were selfishly hidden from me and thrown away like trash. So, Chris 
Matches Mat- Mat- Matchison. I beg for your prayers, prayers for my son and daughter who were not given a chance to live on this planet, who were selfishly hidden from me and thrown away like trash. And I beg for you to respect my privacy. Thank you, everyone, especially to those who have reached out in some form. Wow. You want you guys want to? <laughs> hey, I feel like I feel like you, Lacey. I'm a, I'm gonna point something out. I'm gonna point something out. She already has, and I don't know if those other two girls are his, but let's just say if those other two kids are not his, I don't know. But how Chris was able to have that much sex with this woman. And as a grown ass man, you didn't know that she was pregnant. Maybe y'all weren't living together. <coughs> I'm assuming that this dude had to been plugging this woman. Cause she seems like she likes sex a lot Four kids. I think you like sex a lot. I think you like the male genitalia quite a bit. I don't think there's any woman that has three and four and five kids that don't really love them some male genitalia. Huh? Am I wrong? I know know there's some people out there that maybe got one kid or two or maybe no kids that still love the male genitalia. But I just think that people who have a ton of kids like it just a little bit more than the average woman. It's a hell of a drug. As a as a man, how do you not know that this chick was pregnant? Were you not paying attention to how fat she got in a third trimester? And not only once, but he's admitting that he had sex with her at least twice and she was pregnant twice how did you not know twice so you mean to tell me the the only time you had sex with her was before she got pregnant i think you would have known because i'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of secret if i can do this real quick before we wrap up i hope she don't mind me telling this i knew my daughter's mom and shout out to my daughter's mom i knew that she was pregnant I could visibly see that she was pregnant and she was relatively, relatively uh, shapely for the most part. I could tell that she was pregnant after two weeks. I could tell that early. I could tell my daughter's mom was pregnant after two weeks, 14 days. You mean to tell me Nine months of pregnancy, third trimester. How did he not know through nine months? Or did she just not talk to you for nine months? Which I seriously doubt. Nine months. And not only once, but you get back with her again. And then a whole nother nine months. You didn't notice you... I call, how many of y'all say hashtag BS in the chat? How many of y'all call BS in the chat? That's the text message. It's not my words. It's his words. And the Horry County coroner says the baby found Wednesday will undergo an autopsy. Those results will not be available for about two to three months. And I'm going to tell you guys, man, this is, <laughs> this is probably one of the, one of the weirdest stories that I've heard. The fact that you have a man involved that actually came out and and spoke on social media to address this. And he said that he didn't know anything about this. And I just think that's weird for you to be having, having sex with somebody that and having unprotected sex with somebody that you can't keep tabs on. And I say that because it doesn't sound like they were in a relationship. It don't sound like they were under the same roof. And if they were, then that makes it even worse. 
that he didn't know. But if they weren't under the same roof, then as men, that just proves how irresponsible that we are becoming with our seeds. How can you just give your seed to just any and everybody like this woman and you had no idea that this woman was pregnant? You didn't see her for nine months? You didn't talk to her for nine months? Then she come back around and you get pregnant? She get pregnant by you again? Based on your words, dad. That's really weird. And the fact that, like I said in the beginning, that we have so many different ways to prevent this from happening. So many different ways. We have abstinence, number one. We have condoms, number two. We have day after pill, plan B pills, number three. We have abortion, number four. Late term abortions, number five. Number six, we also have safe haven laws where you can drop these kids off after you give birth to them. And even eight, there is adoption. There are plenty of options to protect these kids so we don't even have to get to this point. But here's what I find to be the saddest thing. No matter how many options you give a human being, they'll still find a way to screw it up. And for that, I'm asking for people, don't make any excuses for people like that. Because the more excuses and the more outs you give people, they're just going to continue to keep trying to find ways out of that. And that's where we have to put our foot down as Americans, put our foot down as citizens, put our foot down as parents and caretakers and say, we can't keep making excuses for these people. And we've got to stop and we've got to nip it in the bud at some point. This woman deserves no mercy. This woman deserves to have justice presented against her. And this woman deserves to lose all of her reproductive rights. She should never be able to see her children. She should never even have the organs to be able to produce any more children. Hashtag TTO. I hope that those babies soul rest in peace. They never got a chance to experience this world and I believe that they deserved an opportunity to grow up and become something. That woman robbed them of that opportunity. And like I said, I think she's just a sick person. And the fact that you're a so-called content creator on top of that, she's just a self-absorbed, horrible individual that needs to be launched into outer space. I don't know how else to say it. Hopefully we get justice and hopefully she does life in prison. I'm DJ Just J, and I'm a YouTuber, and I'm not out here killing my kids. Just saying. I think that babies' lives matter, and we're the AFC where we advocate for children first. From my heart to yours, I love you guys. Y'all have a great day. Have a great night. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Please think about becoming part of the AFC. Support us in this mission. All right? Peace.